Hey guys. Howdy. Um, here to make a video for record store day, which was yesterday. Um, sadly, I did not pick any, pick up any record day, store day releases because the ones that I wanted were not at the record store that we went to, unfortunately. I'm hoping that we can go to another record store within the next couple of weeks and I can find the ones I was looking for, which were the Sundays, um, mainly the Sundays, blind. Um, and then I knew that there was a Cure record out there for record store day which was acoustic and I wouldn't mind getting that um but everything that we saw as far as record store day I wasn't I I don't feel that way by the way I was not happy let's just say that I was happy he was happy because he freaking got records that he's been waiting to get because he passed up one of them I made a video about it and now, check out my video. Yeah, and now he's got it. So you can check out his video to hear that story. But as far as me, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> well, we didn't know about the Sundays, did you? Yeah, I knew oh, about it. Oh, you knew it. about it? Because mm -hmm. I don't remember that being yeah. on the list. Yeah, it was on the list. Was it? Yeah. Um, so, anyway, I picked up some things yesterday. But they weren't, as I said, not record store day releases. So let's get into what I did find. So the first thing I did pick up was the cranberries. Which is almost like the Sundays in some ways. Mm -hmm. Very much. Came out about the same time, probably in the 90s. Mm, no. Really? The Sundays were in the 80s. Were they? Yeah. Sundays came out about the same time 10,000 Maniacs did. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm really happy to get this. Now, I'm not familiar with this record, as if you've watched a prior video of mine where I talk about the Cranberries. I'm just getting into them um, a lot. So, um, there's the vinyl. So, anytime I see anything by them, I just pick it up. Yeah, the past couple ones that you got, I just knew, like, the singles and stuff. I listened to the whole thing, and it's like, they're so it is like, they're very underrated. And where are they now? Are they still recording? I'm not sure. I know they're touring, but have they released a new album? I don't know. I <clears throat> should find that out, mm -hmm. because I would like to have it. Um, but... The, this is the funny thing. I'm so excited about hearing this record because I've liked everything that I've heard thus far from the Cranberries. So this was like the only copy in the store. So I was like, I'm not leaving it. I'm buying it. <clears throat> um, The next thing I got here, it's called The Roots. Roots as in driving, not roots as in plant. And it's skeletons. And it's very comic bookish uh, packaging. Um, it's released on Groovy Label. So, I listened to this a little bit on, um, YouTube, <laughs> good God, <laughs> and, um, it's not what you think, um, it's got a little bit of, um, is that the one that sounds like the cramps, I thought? Yes. And you said to sound like someone different than what I said. Yes, I did. And I don't remember who it was. But yeah, it kind of resembles the cramps a little bit. So I'm, I'm 
I'm anxious to listen to this as well. No, granted, I just got these yesterday. I haven't had a chance to listen to them, so I, I do apologize. There's the one that I was talking about that we didn't see. Yeah. That's the one that I wanted. The Ramones he's looking at. We didn't see them either. So, the other thing I got is, this is called The, the Revenge of the Pukes. Which is a cool record album cover. And this kind of has a fifties, fifties, um, flair to it, sort of. Well, at least the few songs that I heard sound that way. I haven't listened to the whole record yet, so it may be, maybe it's different, I don't know. But there's the, it's kind of like, um, a dark side of the bebop music. That's what it sounds like, sort of, I guess. Um, some of the songs on here are called Execution, uh, Gravestones. Um, gum in your hair, murder. So it's really cool. I'm very happy I picked this up. It comes with a download card. So yes, this will be going on my iPod while I'm thinking about it. Let me get that to him. Did that other one have a download card? That one? No. Whichever ones you've showed so far. No, I don't believe so. Well, the cranberries might, but I don't think in root does. Um, and then the last thing I got really kind of reminds me of Bauhaus. Um, the packaging at least. But the music is so fantastic. This is called Oblivion. The band's name is Oblivion. And the record's name is Dreams in Hell. It's not metal. It's kind of punky. There's the back. Um, very much on the dark side. I love the cover. I love this cover. Does that not remind you of Bauhaus? The back I'm cover is totally cool, does. too. I know. Really awesome. This comes with a lot of goodies on the inside here. I'm going to pull that out, I think. Okay, so inside the cover, the sleeve here, you get this really dark little screen print picture. And it says, my mind is, is a hell. So that's really cool. Then you get this little sticker. It says, dreams in hell. And then you get this little book. And the book that comes with this is um, also it's got, a lot of, can't really see that. it's got a lot of words in it. Like a comic book. And what I believe, I'm not certain, but what I believe is these are the lyrics to the songs on the album, which is really cool. Look, that looks like mayhem. That's awesome. I'd like to sit down and look at that. I don't know who artwork this is, but it's, you know, real interesting. Looks 
I stuck that in the album. So that's what you get with that record. Um, no, Brandon and I have seen this record, this exact record. One other time. One other time. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Look at, look how it's got back. I don't understand it. why you didn't get it. And I didn't. I put it right back like a big dope. <laughs> but this time it came home with me. So I, I did listen to this. I listened to all of this stuff on um, YouTube bits and pieces of different songs um, except for the Cranberries because I already knew what they sounded like and I, I think I maybe the them. reason we didn't last time is we had different phones and our service we didn't get service oh, so we couldn't listen to anything I think that might right. be why I'm not positive sometimes that wouldn't even be a reason because we'd buy it anyway just based on looks but I, I think you're right I think that might be why I think you're right so, um, what's the name of the album again? I'm looking it up here. Oblivion is the group. Mm hmm. Dreams in Hell. Okay. It's got coffins on it that say hope and wish. <laughs> that's hilarious. Anyway, um, so that's what I picked up for Record Store Day. I'm not disappointed by any means. You want to talk about? But I wished I would have found the. How nice those the guys Sundays. are there. Um, we went to everybody's records for Record Store Day. And um, one of our favorite records. Store. That is our favorite record store. We usually go there before we go to any other record stores. If we can't find what we want there, which is hardly ever. We always find something. Um, we do always find something. Is it Dreams Of or Dreams In? In. Um, we go to Shake It or uh, Black Plastic in Cincinnati, which is, you know, our other stores that I wouldn't say favorite, but the, they're the ones we frequent the most. Let's put it that way. Everybody's is our favorite. So that's where we decided to go for Record Store Day. And they know us in there and they're so awesome those guys at that store are so awesome um so they have drawing they had a drawing for turntables for gift certificates and then one of the guys that works there was walking around and he handed Brenton an envelope and me an envelope and they both he goes here's your frequent flyer miles and um they both envelopes had um $15 of gift certificates in them just for coming in to everybody's records, which was so wonderful and nice. Very thoughtful. Um, so we were very, very happy with um, our service and as we always are with them. They're, they're a great, great group of, of guys there at everybody's. Um, keep up the good work, guys. Um, and uh, we had a good time. The place was packed. And they had bands there. And I think Brenton's also posted video of um, us there at Everybody's flipping through the records. They had bands there. And I kind of get distracted when there's music, live music playing. I get a little distracted. Um, and the first band I didn't really care for much. The second band was really good, really cool. Um... <clears throat> but the place was really, 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 really packed. So I kind of stayed in one little area. I didn't really venture because it's like two buildings. I didn't really venture to the other building. I kind of stayed on one side. And um, I just did. I just don't do crowds well. So anyway, um, but it was a good time. We had luck. He found out, excuse me, we, he had found out he found the ones that he was looking for as far as record store day pickups um if you want to see what he did pick up check out his channel and view those videos um but that's it that's all we got that's all i got so i hope you enjoyed this video um if you're interested in any of the bands that i've shown i'll be happy to discuss them um i would go ahead and play like some little ips excerpts of the each band but I'm like so afraid to play music on my channel because I've been tagged 
my YouTube for it, so I really don't like to do that. So um, I'd be happy to discuss it with you if you're interested, or just look them up on YouTube like I did. They're out there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to, to give you an opinion if that's what you're looking for. Um, leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great week this week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye now.